like, we're oh. here, we're there. Uh, you know what? We were, I think we were going to start with an arm wrestle, see who's stronger. <laughs> right? Let's just, like, we got to, yeah. <laughs> I know you guys can't see over there, so of course I'm going to win, but... Get it. Get it. You're, yeah, because if... Jesus, Tracy. <laughs> Shit. Is this for real? This is for real. Alright, you ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> he let me win. It's all good, I still won. <laughs> What's up, you guys? We are live here in the kitchen today. We're with Brian with a Y. With a Y. Hello, everybody. And uh, Brian has allowed me to use his uh, beautiful kitchen today. Voila! And of course, because I do everything in excess, I, uh, I'm going to do like 55 recipes all in like an hour. I'm kidding. I've got a lot of stuff to cover here today. First of all, big shout out to... I want to fix that camera just a little bit because I can't see you and I want to make sure we can. Big shout out to Quest Nutrition and Legendary Foods. We are going to be legendary here in the kitchen today. You guys are freaking awesome. Obviously a big fan, you guys know that. We've got the squeeze packs, of legendary almond butters, peanut butter, cashew butter. We've got the jars, we've got Quest Nutrition. If anybody who knows me, I am full on Quest and Legendary everywhere. So as you see in my gym bag or everywhere I go, I always have Quest products or Legendary products. We've got the seasoned nuts as well, which we're going to be doing some recipes with as well. So you guys can see all that stuff here. Uh, so we're going to have fun today. Alright. I don't even know where to, to start first because we have so much to do. So what I'm going to say is we're going to start on the homemade turkey meatballs. So uh, some of these recipes are paleo, vegan, um, also keto friendly as well. So what we're doing is we're going to go to the turkey station. So follow me. Turkey's, Hopefully you I can see it over well, we're going to bring this stuff over. Okay. So, <laughs> we're just kidding. This is not my kitchen. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to make the turkey meatballs. What I love about these is it's low carbs. These are super easy. So, with meal prepping, you want to make things nice and easy. Don't roll with knives. Sharp objects. And I meal prep every week. I like to keep things fresh. I don't like... Um, you know, food that's a couple days old or leftovers. So I make everything pretty fresh. So we're going to mix this up. And today I'm not going to be like completely right on the money with measuring stuff because I eyeball everything I know exactly, unless I'm on contest prep and I need to be exact. I'm just going to eyeball it because I know exactly I do this all the time. Thanks. You're what a good assistant. He's cute and he can help. And he's helpful, right? <laughs> <laughs> Brian and I have had some uh, good workouts together. He's a super fit guy. Tell us a little bit more about you. Uh, as Trish said, I'm a super fit guy, but I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I am, but I'm not. We need to move that camera to Facebook because I can't even see. I can't see Brian. Well, this all right. is all about you and your show. You don't have to focus on me here, but... um. Okay, so I see what we're doing here. What, so we're taking a whole bunch of turkey and you're adding in. So again, I'm not, I'm just kind of eyeballing stuff. Um, we need to fix that camera, but. I don't think it's going to. Okay, right. I'm putting some egg whites in here. And I'm going to grab a whole bunch of my fun spices. So you can make this whatever flavor you guys want. So basically, we're going to start kind of like mixing stuff together. Himalayan sea salt, this is great. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. I don't want it too, too salty. Pepper. Okay. Crushed chilies. Love these. It also gives it a nice color and texture to it. Okay. My favorite, Mrs. Dash. Love this stuff. Put that on. Get so, it. So, eat it in there. I'm going to get my hands in there, really. You are. You're going to need really it. Need that. Work it. Work <laughs> it, Bri. Brian's going to work that because we want to basically, I'm going to add a few more things in there. So, um, I love sauces. So, you guys can pick whatever kind of sauces you like. Sriracha, tapatio, uh, buffalo sauce. So, whatever you want. We're also going to put probably a little bit more egg whites in there. And we're also going to put a little bit of rolled oats. So, not a lot of carbs as you guys can see. This is going to bind it together and really hold that. 
So yeah. when you're making the meatball... What is that? Oh, that's uh, steel cut oats? Rolled oats. Rolled oats. Rolled right. oats. I don't really like the steel cut oats myself, but you guys can, you know, do whatever you prefer. Okay, so, so when I'm mixing it up, do you want to put hot sauce in this here too? We're going to add some hot sauce or whatever we want to add into it. Okay. It just depends. So basically, we need to cut up. We've got peppers. I like the little peppers. They're nice and sweet. We've got avocado, which we're going to put on top after for our healthy fats. Okay, awesome. And we've also got a little bit of spice, so some peppers here as well. Love peppers. All right. Any, uh, anything else you want me to mix with this, or is this it? We're going to put a little bit of hot sauce in there. Um, I'm going to go with this one because this one's my favorite. I can't touch it. can't touch this. Well, I got raw hands. <laughs> I know. Raw <laughs> hands. And we're trying not to kill anyone here yeah. today. And put a lot of that in there. So, we're going to probably put a little bit more egg whites. How's that looking? I like that. I wish we could... I gotta turn this. Sorry guys, I gotta turn this camera because you can't see anything that we're doing. Is it zoomed out or zoomed in? There we go. Better? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, we got that there. Um, a sharp knife. Okay, so, let's cut these up. I'm going to squeeze some lime in there. I hope you guys are enjoying. I've got quite a few recipes here today. So I'm going to get them all in. I want to do some healthy desserts. And show you guys what we're doing with the legendary products. So, okay. So we're going to squeeze a little bit of lemon. So Bryce washed his hands, so we're good to go now. Squeeze lemon. Yeah, let's put a little lime in there. And then we're going to take the belly out of the pepper because this is actually the hottest part. So if you have the seeds in there, I like spice, but I might, it might kill you guys. So we've got some fresh ginger we're going to mince up. We can do some garlic. I'm going to leave the garlic out because um, I have some events to do this week. <laughs> so I'm actually not going to put the garlic in, but you guys can do that any other time. So... And once you get the peppers in, this is what I love, because then the flavors start coming, and the colors and stuff like that, too. So, do a little orange, do a little red. I'm going to take a couple of those. And a yellow. Awesome, so we'll leave that there for later. Okay, so I'm going to let Brian just kind of take over that section for a second. All we're going to do is we're going to finish cutting those up, we're going to mix it together, and then we're going to roll it into a meatball. And we're going to bake them in the oven. So basically, I want to get started. I'm actually going to put a little squirt of mustard through here too. You guys, if you don't like mustard, that's totally fine. You don't have to have mustard. So that's just my preference. Okay, so next I'm going to go to the unleashed <laughs> protein bar. So this is my absolute favorite. So now we're dipping into the good stuff. We got the Quest protein. We also have, you can use whatever flavors you want. Obviously Quest has an array of different protein powders. My flavor of choice is going to be the chocolate today. We've already pre-opened these just to get ready. And we are going to do a pecan almond butter. So pecan pie. And I'm also, because it's Halloween, and I'm going to do a little Halloween special, I wanted to be able to do something with pumpkin in it today, too. So, again, a lot of this stuff is very healthy, but, you know, there's things that we like to eat, and, you know, you can just add different things in. So if you do like to have sweet, other sweet stuff, I picked these up at the store today because they were calling my name. So, you know what, it's okay to have a little bit of something else every once in a while. We've got the Quest bars that we're going to be cutting up soon, too. Okay, so I'm going to dive into this. This is a fun one. Okay, so what we're doing here is we are going to empty all these packs So Quest protein powder. If you guys want to use a different type of protein or you're vegan, you can use different options as well. That's completely up to you guys what you choose to do. Um, this is my preference and this is my uh, choice, so we're going to go with that. This is so yummy. I love the chocolate 
chuck and the peanut butter, usually I'll mix those ones up too and make like little chocolate peanut butter balls. So, get those. Okay, so next, I want to dip into this bad boy. So Legendary Foods, you guys can find all these online. You can find it on Amazon as well. They have awesome stuff also in Bristol Farms. Um, Quest is everywhere. As you guys know, Quest is in a lot of different stores. You can find it online. You can go to their website. All right, I'm going to stir this up a little bit. And again, I'm eyeballing everything. So if you do this quite a bit, you would kind of learn to know what kind of ingredients and portions are in there. How you doing over there? Doing well. Oh, okay. we're getting some color. I like it. Jalapenos are popping. Oh, is that uh, what? You lost an eye Yeah, off? I lost a little bit of... <laughs> ha! Dang! We won't cut up the onions and the garlic just for that reason, too. Okay. Because <laughs> that So normally you put onions you. and garlic in here with peppers, jalapenos, yeah, and mush and it all together. Yeah, dice everything up so it's an amazing abundance of flavor. Alright guys, we're also going to add some coconut. Unsweetened coconut, you can do sweetened, whatever you like, whatever your preference is. Okay, I love this texture. You get a nice bite of that little bit of texture of that grind of the coconut. And we're also going to add in a few more things. So I've got the almond butter in there. Goji berries, antioxidants. Goji berries are incredible for you. Um, I don't know if you guys have tried them before. What I love about this is that when you put them in the protein bar, the moisture from the protein bars or protein balls, however you want to make them, it really pops the goji berry so that, if I can get it open, nails, <laughs> so that you can really taste this flavor after. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to use my fingers, and I'm going to actually put these ones in whole. You can dice them up if you want little flavors. And I love this too, especially around the holidays. These are fun because they add and pop a lot of color too. So I love goji berries, especially at Christmas and Halloween time. So mix those in there. We're using an alkaline water because that's the only that's the only water that I do drink. So alkaline water, kagan water, microcluster water, however you want to call it. And chia seeds. Chia seeds are also amazing and abundant. So there's a lot of protein in them. Um, we got parsley going to be cut up and put over there in those as well. So we're getting closer to that. So chia seeds, I like the little texture that this adds as well. So all my products, everything's organic. If I can get it organic, I definitely do that. So we're mixing it up. We're gonna add a little bit more water. Come in a little closer if you want. Okay, so the fun part about this, you just add water in until it basically is getting nice and moist, that one. So we still need a little more, a little more. Okay, I put a little rolled oats in here. I like a little bit of carbs. I actually don't require a lot of carbs for my body type. If you want to do um, no carbs, that's totally up to you guys too. So I'm going to put a little bit of rolled oats in here. It's just a nice texture as well. And I'm trying not to get dirty because Dan said I was going to get dirty. So my objective is to stay clean this whole, this whole cooking show. So as you can see, it's nice and chocolatey, mixing that up. A little bit more water. All right, we got some more fun stuff. What we're gonna do is we are going to add in a tiny bit more coconut. What I love about this recipe too is it's a no-bake recipe. So what you're gonna do is, after these are done, I'm gonna roll them in coconut. You can roll them in whatever you want to roll them in, and then I do the coconut because it just gives a nice outer shell and a nice casing. And then I roll them. I put them in the fridge for 24 hours, and in the morning they are so nice and moist and delicious. So mini chocolate chips. You don't want to overpower it too too much. So the mini chocolate chips, or you can use carob chips as well are great, just a little tiny crunch, a burst of flavor in there too. Okay. So it's coming along, it's looking good. Uh, 
Tracy, do you want ginger in this as well? We're going to cut up just a little tiny little pieces. Tiny yeah, right. a little tiny. I love ginger. Do you like ginger? I love ginger, yeah. Ginger's so good for you. It's anti-inflammatory, is it? Or? It absolutely is. You're good you. a good cook. You're, I mean, you're into the holistic everything. I mean, everything's organic for you. and. I try to get to the end. I try right? to do the best you can to get the best... Uh, People, you know, it's it's been interesting. I've been working a lot of these expos with um, legendary foods and Quest Nutrition and stuff, and a lot of people are saying they're on these keto diets, but I don't think a lot of people really understand what a keto diet is. So I really want you guys to be able to get out there and educate yourself. Um, I'll do. I'm going to do another show. Um, gentleman guy named uh, from fit to fat I want to give a shout out to him on Instagram he's amazing he's gonna be on my show so we've got him booked pretty soon I gotta get in touch with him again but the thing about it is just educating yourself to understand because a lot of us are saying hey we're keto but we really don't know what that means um, I was at a street fair in Sherman Oaks on Sunday and everyone's like yeah I'm keto 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 and so I asked them what that meant and they were like well you know I eat just eat a lot of fat so you want to just uh, kind of understand what that is, guys, before you start doing any kind of type of diets and stuff. So I've got this here. This is actually the coconut. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually take these and it gets a little messy. I'm going to drop that in there. If you want to pan in, you can come over here and just... Uh, take a look at it so I'm just spinning it around you can do it into any shape whatever shape you want to do yep you're not it's perfect so any shape you want to do what I like to do is I like to do the little uh, protein balls so what I do there is I put them like that kind of round them up people are asking what it is three cans what is that what do they want to know they want to know what is it this is a, pro so we've got turkey meatballs over here, guys. A healthy turkey meatball, egg whites, red peppers, parsley. We've got bell peppers, a uh, little bit of hot sauce in there. We've got a little bit of ginger. Sometimes we do garlic and sometimes we do onions. That's what's in there. And, and turkey meatballs. Turkey meatballs. So really homemade healthy turkey meatballs. We put a little bit of rolled oats in there. We're going to roll them and then we're going to bake them. And so that's what we have there. And then second of all, we have the homemade Unleashed Bar. So Quest Nutrition, Legendary Foods, um, all their products are in here. And I've just rolled these. And they're going to sit in the fridge for 24 hours, so you guys know. So basically, this is, this is just uh, keep going, just keep rolling. And uh, by tomorrow, these are going to set, and they are just amazing. It's great because you really want to be able to do portion control. I mean, so many of us are overeating. Obesity in America and in Canada and all over the world is rising and skyrocket. So these are great for kids as well. Kids, you know, want a healthy snack at lunch. So if you want to do this for your kids, everything's safe. It's healthy. And um, I, I mean, it's saved my life. Not only on meal prepping, eating, staying in shape, and just, you know, because life gets busy. And so if you are prepared, that is the biggest thing I can suggest to you guys. As long as you're prepared for your day, you will be successful. Get a little cooler, get some ice packs, um, do a six pack fitness bag, whatever you want to do, but just carry your bags around. I get a little thermos bag I bought from CVS and I put some, a little couple ice cooler packs in them. And I have my dessert, I have my food, so I can take like, if I was going to do a full day out, what I would suggest, I would take my turkey meatballs, I would probably take eight of them, put four in one uh, Ziploc or Tupperware, and four in another. And I would have portion control for a couple meals. I would have a few snacks in there, so I'd probably grab a Quest bar, Quest cookie. Um, or I would do the alternative, which are the homemade Quest legendary unleashed protein bars, balls. Okay? So be prepared. Just make sure that you have what you need to for the day so you can set yourself up for success. The fun part about it, I love it, is we're going to hollow the tops of the turkey meatballs out once we put it on the cookie sheet. Surprise! You're like you didn't tell me that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, surprised you. <laughs> this is my side. This is the oh, meatball. Oh, nice. This is the meatball. Show Facebook. 
So, yeah, this is my portion control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're hiding over there. I want Facebook to see you. All right, guys. So um, again, this the next step is to put them in the fridge so they're going to set overnight. So I'm going to leave this, and now I'm going to go on to the next one because I want you guys to see everything. Wait, there's more. There's more. Of course, there's more. There has to be more. You can't just stop there. Um, okay, so. We're gonna roll those up. Look at you and your gloves. You're all like official. <laughs> I love it. Can we get a close up on that? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I just see that. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. Contained. We contained it. We didn't lose a digit. Um, no, just to this portion of it. Um, so we're gonna roll these into balls and yeah. a cooking tray. So sheet. what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the cookie sheet over here. Okay. So let's do that now. I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way. And then I've got a couple more treats for you guys, a couple more stuff. All right, so I can roll ball, balls now? Yep. How would you recommend so, uh, doing these? Like, so spoons? just like I did, yep, with a spoon, just like I did with the protein bars, I would do it. So, yep, and then put it there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually, I'm going to just work with Brian for a few minutes here because I want to show you guys why I do this and what this is. So. Take a knife, back of a spoon, spoon, whatever you want to do, and I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to just hollow out and open that up in the center there. So I don't know if you guys can see. So there's a hole in the middle of the meatball. Okay? So what I've done is I've just gone down, not to the very bottom, but just before the bottom. And what we're going to do, you're going to pick your favorite sauces. So whatever that may be, barbecue sauce, Poison, soy sauce, hot sauce, sriracha, whatever you want to do. What we're going to do is just open that up. Once we get a couple open, I'm going to show you. Some, some are bigger than the others. That's okay. We got some big balls here too, <laughs> all right? And the balls are getting bigger. <laughs> so are these, is that too cool? My hands are... No, no, no. It's a, is that big boy hands. Look at those big, big balls. Big balls, wow. It's crazy. These are going to be... I'm so excited to eat these later. I'm so Toro, excited. Toro! <laughs> so, these are the biggest balls Those are just way too big. Ryan, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> balls. Okay. Turkey balls. All right, I don't know if it's going to... Well, we'll just give it a shot. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead on these ones just so you can see. Okay. Sriracha, everybody, I think everybody loves sriracha. All right, I'm going to pour a little bit down the middle. These three are going to be sriracha. This one will be a tapatio because everybody likes that one too. Enough in there to fill it up. Obviously, the bigger balls are going to need more, more sauce. More sauce. More sauce for the bigger the ball. Okay. These are way too big. <laughs> yeah, I might, yeah, I might tone it back on. Tone it back a little. Those, uh, yeah. Those are, <laughs> okay, so normally hard. I wouldn't make these massive balls like this, but this is great. And, uh, yeah, this is, that, is that a good size? Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. I won't fire you. Okay. <laughs> you're like, it's my kitchen, darn it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what I'm doing now is because I like spice and I like just to have a little bit extra and the coloring it's kind of like a garnish as well so I'm going to just take that there <clears throat> sprinkle it you guys are I'm hoping you're picking up what I'm doing here what right I'm now. throwing down what I'm throwing down here so here 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 all right Dan Kennedy is here behind the camera Dan do you want to come over and just check this out this is the final process of this one here okay so what does the sauce do when you, when you what are you ready? waiting for it to do? Wait yeah. for it. Mic drop. This is the moment. This is the moment you're waiting for. What happens? Okay, close her up. What? 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 It's like a stuffed meatball. <laughs> it is like a stuffed meatball. With hot sauce. Yeah, right? Or any With sauce whatever. You want. And mustard is another one I love. Vegan so, cheese, what about vegan cheese? Yeah, that's a great or idea. Or regular cheese if you're dairy. Yeah, if you do dairy, you can do regular cheese or whatever it may be. So as you can see, now when they bake, what happens is the sauce is going to bake in there and it's going to spread out throughout the meatball and some may even ooze out the top. And that Ooh. is my favorite. Oh, ba bam Right? It's all about that. So uh, love, 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 love this. So 
We're gonna close those up there so you wouldn't even know. So it's like a, a burst of flavor as soon as you bite into it, which I love, love, love. And this is going into the oven? Oh, sure. Well, I didn't put sauce in the other uh, massive balls you have there, so if you want, you can fill it up with whatever sauce you like. Sure. And then uh, I'm going to get on to the next ones. Okay, so let me wash my hands a little bit better there. You can also do this with ground chicken, guys. So, um, or whatever your choice is. Uh, bison is also another great one. Bison is a really nice lean meat. Um, so those are my favorites. So we did not put the parsley in or the spinach in, but oh, that's shit. okay. <laughs> so do something. Um, and he's fired. <laughs> I'm like these would be really normally nice and beautiful color. And then what I do is put a little sprinkle of uh, parsley on top, so it's gonna bake right in on the top. But we're gonna do. Let me next. salvage it. You sure? Because I can take these balls. And, <laughs> let's do half balls. Let's do it. We're gonna do. What are you gonna do? It's I'm gonna okay. chop it up real fast. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go on to the next one. Okay, happy Halloween almost, guys. So what I've done here is I actually bought um, this pie crust. You can make your own if you have time or whatever you want to do. Um, I can make a pumpkin pie out of this, but what I'm also gonna do is do these little desserts. These are what I love. Okay, so again, we're gonna dive right into this big batch of pumpkin. I like coconut. Um, it's um, a preferred taste by some people, so you can use it if you want. You don't have to. Excuse my reach. All right, these chips, have you guys tried these chips yet? Ridiculous. All right, so we've got cinnamon crunch flavor, protein, quest protein. So I'm actually going to, oh, there you go. Maybe, I don't know. Well, bam, I'm gonna open these bad boys up. And I just made these recipes up because you wanna be creative, especially when you're, I don't like to work, use the word dieting, but when you're dieting or you're on a healthy nutrition plan. So I get creative, I just start throwing stuff in and mixing it up and saying, <laughs> I have no idea what's happening over here, and I'm not even gonna look. It might work. <laughs> All right, coconut. <laughs> don't have to use it if you don't want. Again. Okay, I found these at the store. They are Nestle Cold House pumpkin spice chips. Chips. <laughs> these look so amazing. I haven't even tried them yet. So I am going to. Put a whole bunch in there. Again, this is so. This is getting to the unhealthiness maybe area <laughs> <laughs> of things, but that's okay. So I'm gonna mix that up. So you're getting your protein in there too, and your pumpkin. These are all great high in fiber. So this is a really good high fiber diet, um, if you know what I mean. And I'm gonna mix that up. So. This one here. I'm gonna put a couple extra in there. All right. So that's that. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, guys. So what I want to do is show you this. These are from the 99 cent store. Super cheap, super easy. What I've done, mixed it together. Simple four ingredients. I'm gonna just drop it in there. And these are oven safe. Okay, fill up one, fill up the other. This is so easy to do, and you can also freeze them after if you save them, if you can keep them that long. <laughs> Sometimes I can't. Okay, so there we go. That was easy, right? Okay, next, just a little layer. So if you're having a dinner party or you're having people over, friends over, stuff like that, and you want to have something fun, um, something for the kids to grab too, they love this. Okay, so we got a lot over here. So what I'm going to actually do is go over and fill this up. Pumpkin pie, baby. And 
as you can see, if you're efficient and you know everything goes as planned, you can cook up a little a storm. You know, like whatever you want to do. We can finish all of this within an hour because we're going to do an hour show today. Thanks okay. for being here. And uh -huh. so that's, that does look better. Adding the greens. Mm. Oh, right? So it's for so, the kids or for the adults, you know? It's the kids don't <laughs> well, like we want, greens. Yeah. Well, and then you can sneak them in too, so you don't have to be as obvious with the greens. We can chop them up a little finer. A little finer. Got and it. then the kids don't even realize that they have the vegetables in there, which is a great way to mask vegetables because a lot of kids do not like anything. As soon as they see anything green that looks healthy, they are not about it. So. Yeah, it's a weird thing. And I suggest too, if you're having people over and stuff like that, you ask them if they have any food allergies, um, if they're allergic to anything. Okay, so just for fun, uh, what do you guys think? What kind of uh, peanut butter do you think would taste good on this one? Should we go with an apple pie, a pecan, peanut butter, or blueberry cinnamon legendary? Uh, this is pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, so I'm going to go with pumpkin and pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin, maybe apple or pecan. Dan, or what do you chocolate? think? Or uh, chocolate? I'm not sure. Dan, what do you think? Which one? Because Dan doesn't like anything. I like Should almond. Alright. Okay. I'm going to go with apple. Again, pick whatever your flavors are. I love these squeeze packs. These are awesome. Make sure you you know, mix it up before you uh, dive into it. But these are awesome because you can pack them in your gym bag, you can pack them in your car, you can pack them anywhere. And so these are accessible. I could use the out of the jar, but I just want to show you guys how easy and simple this is. Okay. So it's just a little, little top A little layer. dab will do you, right? So we're just going to get that. And as you can see, I've already blended. So now I've got a couple things going on here. I've got the almond butter, a little bit of coconut, I've got the pumpkin pie chips, and now I've got the almond butter just on top. Just kind of swirl that up, because we're going to bake it. Alright, final touch is where this comes in handy. Again, I love having so many options, so I have so many options to choose from here. Whatever I want to do as a topper. Okay? Just... Sauce. Maybe I'll just do that. that. Alright. Let's go with Snickerdoodle. I don't know if you guys... I like saying that. Say Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. <laughs> Did I say that right? I don't know. I just I like when people say Snickerdoodle. It sounds Snickerdoodle. Like Alright, so I'm going to take these, I'm going to open them up. Oh. Yep. So what are these? These are Snickerdoodle cookies. Snickerdoodle Quest, Quest protein cookies. cookies. Protein cookies. Okay, so High protein, see, low sugar. Yes. High fiber. Mm. Uh, Quest and Legendary Foods prides themselves in the low sugar, um, high protein, low carb, no artificial, like, um, flavoring extra stuff so a lot of you know companies will put in a lot of extra stuff that's not good for you uh, I am NOT an ambassador for a lot of products but I definitely stand behind these products um, you know you want it we want to keep healthy and we want to eat things that are good for us obviously you know sometimes we reach for other things that aren't, aren't as good but we want to just make sure you're reading what's in the labels 15 grams of protein these are amazing so we've got 11 grams of fiber you can't get that anywhere. The protein bars are also great too. Um, I'm going to actually do a snickerdoodle on this one. Happy birthday to my friends out there today. Happy birthday, Sean. Happy birthday to Mandolin Reese. Uh, I don't know who else is a birthday today. Is it your birthday? No. It's my birthday. Okay, you can lie. Today is the 25th. You're like, what day is it? <laughs> who else's birthday is out there? 24. This is for you guys. Okay, so how are we doing over there? Yeah. I think it's good. I know it's not optimal, but uh, did you? Now that I know how to do it, next time will be a lot better. Yeah, we didn't prepare for this, so we're just kind of doing our thing. So we're cutting it up. So what is this going to be used for? Um, on top of your it's a surprise. pie? Oh, we're not sure yet. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, we're not sure yet. <laughs> what are you doing with that? Okay, so I'm cutting it up. And I'm going to actually sprinkle it over top, 
These ones I'm going to do one cookie and the other one I'm going to do birthday for my friend's birthdays. Okay, so we can actually, yes, cut a cookie up and a protein bar up on top. So, so just as you do the crust bottom, like a graham cracker crust, we are going to do the cookie on top. This is going to encase the flavoring in and when it bakes, it will be nice and golden brown on top. So we can use healthy options. We're getting more fiber and we're getting more protein in there as well. Rather than using anything else, there's a few different things that I like here just for a nice touch. I did not bring my cinnamon with me. I'm not sure if Brian has cinnamon, but if you did have cinnamon or nutmeg or anything like that, we would sprinkle that over top. That's your cue, cinnamon? Sprinkle, cinnamon, ready. <laughs> Do you have any? Oh, I need cinnamon? Oh, I have cinnamon. <laughs> totally not even. Yeah. He's, are you? I'm he's, <laughs> no, I'm on it. We're fighting now, that's it. I got it, boss. Okay, got it. so we're going to do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this and we're going to sprinkle it over top of this one. Cinnamon by Simply Organic. Yeah, oh, nice. So where do you want to sprinkle? Can you sprinkle it on top of the pie, please? It's all good. That's going to be a one simony bag. <laughs> well, it's good. Right, we're going to spread that out. Perfect. Can we actually have a little sprinkle just on top of, of that course, one too, please? Of course. We'll just, if you guys can see this. All right. A little dabble, do ya? Bam. Perfect. Nice. Okay. So that one's there. Next we have, do you, um, let's uh, go ahead and fire Free up that oven. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll what's uh, the, fill What's those. the temperature? Can we cook all this together and what temperature? Uh, we only need one for 375, please and thank you. You got it. 375, start. Okay. This Timer. is my one of my favorites. I don't even know. I like them all, but this is so good. Look at that. It's so um, dense and amazing. I'm actually going to cut this up, and you guys will see. What is 